Hey dude, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a video on the basics of using the Reason plugin. In this example, I'm going to be using Reason as a plugin in Logic, but these same principles apply to any and every DAW where you're trying to use Reason as a plugin, whether as an instrument or an effect. So basically, this is going to be a high level overview of the structure of Reason as it works in a plugin and how you can make the most of it, especially if you're new to Reason. And if you are new to Reason, you should totally check out this free Reason check sheet, cheat sheet I have. Uh, it's the link to download it below. It teaches you an overview of all of the devices included with Reason, as well as like their best uses, kind of what they sound like, what their vibe is. It saves you a ton of time. If you don't know a Thor from a Subtractor or an RV7000 from an Audiomatic, for example. They're not just clever names, they're useful effects and instruments. Download that sheet below to get the most out of them. So I've really got just a simple little thing here in Logic. Let's take a quick listen, it does not matter. Basic drum beat and basic Rhodes piano. These are instruments that come as part of Logic. So uh, let's say we want to add something from Reason. Well, the first thing I would do is create a new channel. By default, it's the electric piano, but now let me go to the AU Instruments, which is, you basically just scroll to where Reason Studio's instruments are gonna be in the instrument section, depending on where you have them installed. And the first thing you have the option of is choosing how many outputs you want it to be. Either mono, stereo, or multi-output. What multi-output would let you do is basically have a bunch of instruments in one Reason plugin and then route those to separate channels, mixer channels in your DAW. That's a little more complicated. If you want to explore it, go ahead. But for most of us, for most of our purposes, mono or stereo as a plugin is going to do it. Um, if it's a bass or something low end, maybe a lead, you'll want to go with mono. If it's more of a pad or a chord or drums, you go with stereo. So we click stereo. Now we're going to have a Reason instrument channel here on one hand, and now we have the Reason Rack plugin. Here is where you can choose your instruments. You basically the most common or the most used instruments will pop up on the top. And then on the, here you can browse through all of the instruments or search uh, and also in all the folders, or you can right click and you can use all of the instruments from here. Uh, there's also a quick tutorial if you need it and you can adjust the settings. Cool. So let's just say we've got that really simple thing. And so let's also add a, just a Europa, um, simple synth. We don't like that sound. So if we want to search for a different patch, we can hit the folder button or just click on the browse button. And right now it's on poly which is polyphonic sense. So let's go for something, but I think actually let's go up to the Europe, Europa presets and instead let's go for plucks. We're at the pluck four, let's see what that sounds. So this is where the instrument is. Sounds pretty nice, I don't know if it goes with our song, but let's see. I'm gonna let you know right now, I have latency. I am bad at piano, but I'm not this bad. It's just when I film and record at the same time, some latency is introduced. So, perfect there. And all of these sounds are built into this synth. You notice down here in the bottom, there's distortion, uh, chorus, comp uh, compression, delay, reverb, EQ. So if we wanted to add effects later, we'll look at that down the line. But we've just basically selected one instrument. We'll record a quick little melody just for your listening pleasure. that because I'm sure it's off. 
So, um, cool. So now we've got the basic synth down. And let's say, actually, let's tweak this sound a little bit just because we're not super happy. Add some unison. Bring the filter down a little bit. Spread the two oscillators. And maybe let's turn the delay off. And add maybe some, make this legato instead. And add some slide. Cool. Let's turn the reverb down. But the cool thing about Reason is this is an entire rack here. So, yeah, we have a synth and we can just leave it at that. We've selected one synth, boom. No, Reason goes way deeper than that. Everything on earth you could possibly want could be layered here if you wanted. So, we ha Reason comes with tons of effects and I also have tons of rack extensions for, which are basically Reason specific plugins which you can also run through it. But for this, we'll stick with the built-in Reason plugin. So I'll go to effects and I'll go to a um, built-in because we want it to be basic. And we will use the Audiomatic Retro Transformer. And this is like, it can model all sorts of old fashioned things. So think of it as this signal chain, right? I've got the Reason Rack plugin, which is running a synth, which is being controlled by the MIDI here which is then flowing into the Audiomatic, which is then going to the back, back out the Reason plugin. If you really want to visualize it, you can hit the button Flip Rack or hit Tab, and you can see the wiring. So this is where it comes in and out of. So you've got the audio, basically the MIDI's coming from here through there, goes into the Europa, the Europa's audio flows out these cables, and then the output of the Audiomatic flows into the channel. That is the mix channel for the host. And so, like I said earlier, if you had the 16 voices and a bunch of channels, this is where you would wire them separately. So let's just see what it sounds like with this tape sound on. Or VHS. I don't know, that sounds kind of cool. Or radio. Or PVC, just really wash that. That sounds pretty cool to me. But let's not stop the fun there, people. Um, let's add a little of Reasons built in reverb, the RV7000. Um, and I adjusted the dry and wet, but really we want to go here, browse the patches, remember? Or you can right click on the name. Uh, let's do film score. That's like huge, that's too long. If we want to expand it, we can hit this. Length is too long. Now let's move the wet dry down. But you know what? I think I actually want the reverb. This reverb is just too long. So let's turn the length down and the decay to like 50%. But let's say also that we want, let's add one more effect just to keep the fun going. And we'll add the sweeper. No, let's add the quartet. So this is a chorusing effect. And we'll right click here and just uh, go for Uno chorus if you can imagine what that might be. Actually, let's say that we want the 
quartet to be in front of the reverb and the automatic. We've decided that the order of effects isn't quite what we're looking for. Well, you could drag it and then you could manually rewire it, but just dragging it by itself isn't going to do the job. So you have to hit undo. And then if you were to hold shift and drag, now it reorders it based on the order that they're in. And this will sound a little smoother, I think. Let's quantize, I guess I never did that. Or I just undid it. So that's a pretty good sounding lead. I wanna add a little interest to it though. So I wanna show you one of the coolest things that the Reason Rack lets you do. And that is, I mean, we could automate it manually, but there's also this thing called CV voltage or control voltage. I guess it's not called CV voltage, it's just called CV or control voltage. And what it lets you do is let various LFOs, envelopes, oscillators, what have you, control features within Reason. If we hit tab to flip it over, you'll notice that these instruments have CV ins um, that allow you basically to plug a component in there and that will control what, how this moves. And so you'll also notice that there are CV outs for certain devices like Europa, for example, has its own CV out. So let's take the CV out here and put it into, actually, yes, well, no, there's a, that's going to appear more complicated. So I'm doing it in a simpler way. There is a utility, and utilities are just tools that let you do things in Reason, called Pulsar Dual LFO. Basically, this just creates a wave in this shape or in this shape at this rate um, or many other shapes. But we'll just go with a simple sign. Uh, and this is how strong it is. And this is how fast it is. So we're going to take the CV out from here and put it into the transform of the automatic. Now you're not going to see this knob moving. Actually, let me, and this knob here controls how much of it affects. Right now it's not going to be affecting it at all. I want to manually demonstrate what's going to be going on. It's basically going to be controlling this feature automatically. So now let's dial it in. to make it faster and more extreme. And the cool thing is, I mean, you could have, for example, there's all these extra outputs and you could create more and daisy chain it, but like, we could also have the reverb decay on the inverse. So as the sound gets more extreme, the reverb decays less. Don't know if it'll sound good, but. Or get bigger at the same time. What we can do is have the reverse go into Europa. It's going into CVN1. And a lot of the instruments have these complex matrix programmers, or at least they appear complex, but it's really straightforward. But if you're getting at all confused, please do check out that recent cheat sheet. The link is down below. Like I said, it'll help you figure this all out. Uh, so what we can do here is program what things affect each other. So I could select to have CV1, which is where we just plugged in the Pulsar dual LFO, and we could have that control the filter frequency, for example, by going filter frequency. And then, oops, <laughs> but you have to do it on the same line of this matrix. So filter frequency. And then this will control how much negatively or positively it will affect the filter. So now let's hear. What's basically happening? Is... 
And you could also inversely send it to the filter resonance. So that's it for basics on how you can create really complicated synth sounds with the Reason plugin. Uh, in the next video in this play series, I'm going to show you how you can use this to also take instruments and effects that you already have in your DAW and enhance them with the power of Reason. So uh, this will be in a playlist. Check out the next one. Uh, if you're watching this the day it came out, the next one will come out tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Reason Tips. And be sure to download that free cheat sheet so that you can be up to date making the best beats and such like in Reason. Thanks for watching. Bye.